conditioning, a lot of the ways that Zero can play you and force you into mm -hmm. bad positions, into bad spots. It's one of the best ways to beat the guy is use the noodle. He's the best in the world for several reasons, and you know his mind games is definitely one of those things. Like he's like you talk about conditioning. Yeah, Zero's the king of conditioning. He'll make you do just stuff that you didn't even intend to do for a first like but then as he's like winning neutral it's like you know what i haven't done this in a while maybe i'll throw this out maybe it might work but in reality that's what zero wanted this entire time <laughs> like that's that one step ahead mentality that is just so dominant from zero all right so we're gonna go to smashville game one no surprises there both players and characters like the stage just fine starterville yeah <laughs> it, i mean hey you know it's it ain't broke don't fix it a favorite for a lot of people. Dan doesn't mind playing here. Nobody. No, I don't. I've not heard a single person at Ignition or in a lot of places here that they hate Smashville. So far, Dan off to a little bit of a rough start. The down throw combos really aren't going to work because of that up B. Zero is just a master of utilizing that as a combo breaking move. No. Yeah, Dan not off to the best of starts, but he has gotten some damage down. And Mario is one of the better characters in the game at taking stocks from low percents. That forward smash has an incredibly high amount of knockback. You Absolutely. Know, you know, grab combos can just put somebody from 40 to 80. Like, up air, up air. Let's get some good damage. Yeah, that Mario's is really good at taking early stocks, and especially if the player is as good as conversions as Dan. Oh, oh I thought he was going to make it. All right, well, he did get some damage off of it. Small victories. Yeah, a little bit. I, I'm surprised that we didn't see some cape stalling to for the because I knew he didn't have a jump, so it must have been just. I think he probably thought he could make it back. Maybe he was just a little bit off on where he was uh, on stage. Now Zero with the lead. Trying for a jab. Wanted the air dodge read, but Zero, you know, he's better than that. Yeah, Zero very much likes to jump out of any situation. Doesn't want to give you the opportunity to go for any kind of a, a read or 50-50. Dare into up smash. I'm sorry, is it, are we watching Fox? That was an <laughs> excellent conversion. That was, that was really smooth. And now the spacing starts to come into play. All right, and now... Zero just finding his finding the range on his forward airs and back airs. As soon as he gets the spacing on all these moves to keep out of character, that's where it starts to get hard because that just the disjoint is so hard to deal with unless you're ready for it. Yeah, zero starting to pull away. Dan, while good at playing from behind, um, that gets harder when you play against players this good. He again didn't have a jump. And both his stock's going to go because Zero, never afraid to just attack you all the time. He has showed time and time again that he is not afraid to go super out there. Like, almost to the blast zone out there. Like, with his Lucina. And just, it's it puts the fear in you. Because once you're out there, he's like, okay, well, he probably can't reach me when I'm this far out. And then the next thing you know, he's out there, you're eating a back air, and that's just, you know the stock taken. All right, we go to game two as Zero puts his hoodie back on. Looking a little bit like Dex there. <laughs> yeah, hoods up. Trying to land with forward air and just eating several of these dancing blades. Ooh, up tilt. Not letting Dan land. Although Dan gets the grab. Down no throw up tilt. That. Yeah, Zero's DI has been good all night as to be expected. Zero's just kind of walking around Dan. He's basically doing whatever he feels like doing in this match right now because Dan's not really contesting when he has a, a little bit of an advantage state. Whenever he's up in the air, that was a, re <laughs> that was a really good uh, call out for that. When he's in the air, he's not really contesting with Nair because I feel like if Lucina is just empty hopping around like that, one option that Mario does have is just holding out the uh, for the Nair so that he can just break out of... Uh, any sort of combos that Lucina has, or just as a deterrent to Zero for throwing out a hurt, uh, hitbox. He went for the dare into smash attack again. He's been getting some good damage, and Zero actually hasn't been able to mount much offense in the last minute or so. Oh, empty hopping right into the shield breaker. That's always optimistic when challenging that shield breaker, but if if you're at the right spacing, it's it's not going to work. It's just a matter of staying at a staying at a distance where. It's a matter of just baiting out the option and then falling into it. 
Oh wow, Ooh. almost had his shield broken again. Although Dan playing, honestly, much better this game. And he had played fine in the first game. Yeah, he's adjusting really well right now. The one thing is that any time that he's by the ledge, that's where Zero has the upper hand. Now remember, this is not a matchup that Zero doesn't know. He plays against Ally all the time in large uh, tournaments. A he lot knows of people Mario so well. And in fact, a lot of people theorize that he picked up Lucina in order to deal with Ally. At least that's what. At least that's what I think. Nice back air falling down. Zero by the ledge. Well, he tries for the pivot grab, and he ha was in the right position, but just execution was off. And Zero having another breath at life. Trying for the uh, textbook there, waiting for Zero to exhaust all of his options, and then the unsafe upbeat to stage. Dan sealing it out with a down smash. Oh. The flood? That was, all right, so because Zero had upbeat, he was just trying to push him off stage. That's not the worst plan, but I think he wanted to jump in flood, and the yeah. jump input didn't go off fast enough. Yeah, that's really unfortunate because that would have been huge. Yeah, that would have been an incredible stolen game. And now Zero, he's starting to starting to call out Dan on the landing a little bit, starting to throw out that up smash. So now he's going to be careful with landing with that down air, nope. but not going to matter. Game. Up air, going to close it out. Zero, moving on to winner's finals without a care in the world. But Dan played really good. He adjusted really well that second game. Just no, it's it's really hard to it's really hard to keep that pressure on, especially it is. against a, a player with. <laughs> Especially against a caliber of players such as Zero. Yeah, and Dan played great that whole set. He had some really good reads, but like you said, if the theory is true that Zero picked up Marcina for the the Mario matchup, the ally matchup, then that's a great way to test it. Yeah. And that's also going to make it very difficult for players like Dan, guys who play Mario, when they run into Zero on bracket. So See, the interesting thing is he's been playing with 